Hey there, this is Sean Donahoe, great to see you here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can stake your claim in a $2.1 trillion industry with smart commerce. Now, this was a talk I recently gave in Vegas, but unfortunately the video that we did of the actual talk didn't work out very well. So I'm re-recording it so that you can watch in high definition and learn all about how you can, as I said, stake your claim in a $2.1 trillion industry. Now, if you haven't seen me before, you don't know who I am. My name is Sean Donahoe. I'm the CEO and founder of Solocity, and I am a serialpreneur, an investor, author, speaker. I wear many hats, and for the last 21 years, I've worked with Fortune 500 companies, multinational corporations, venture capitalists, and startups all over the world. And a lot of people don't realize that my background is actually large-scale e-commerce. Our development company has created many, many large e-com stores, Amazon-style stores, auto parts stores, off-road stores, camping and survival stores, and many more. And we actually own the second largest online art store with over 3 million line items, seven figures in revenue year after year, all 100% automated without ever seeing a single product. And we sold that company in 2007 for a very nice sum. Now, with that being said, I'm not saying this to blow my own trumpet, but to let you know that when it comes to e-commerce, I know my stuff. Now, if you are not in the e-com industry right now, you could be missing out on a massive gold mine. In 2016, e-commerce globally is worth two point one trillion dollars i want that number to settle in for a second and it's estimated that that will rise to 2.3 trillion dollars by the end of 2017. now the average u.s consumer spends 1800 dollars a year online and that is growing very very rapidly indeed and 80 percent of the u.s population has made a purchase online with 50 percent making more than one purchase online now here's the thing in 2016 u.s e-commerce spending will hit 392 billion dollars now that is up from 226 billion last year. That's a jump in the space of 12 months of 45%. And it's only going to get bigger. US uh, mobile traffic in 2017 is estimated to be 50% of all e-commerce spending. Now we're lagging up behind a little bit of the rest of the world. But by the end of 2017, it's estimated that US uh, mobile commerce will be 70 percent which presents a lot of opportunities if you're looking in the right direction 2016 also saw the introduction of same day delivery with uh, example of amazon prime etc now here's the thing amazon prime and the new service prime now has 80 million customers worldwide using the prime and prime now service that is an incredible jump forward. It's going to be a create a huge impact on e-commerce moving forwards. Now, if you're ignoring international markets, you may have noticed there's a little bit of a discrepancy between 392 uh, billion in the US versus the 2.1 trillion. That's because internationally there is a huge, huge market. That's 1.6 trillion dollars left on the table because. Again, there are massive markets everywhere, and global e-commerce is absolutely huge. Now, how big, how fast is the growth? Well, it's estimated by 2020 that the global e-commerce industry will be worth $4.1 trillion. That's almost double where it is right now. There's no other area of industry that has such gigantic growth. And you are right in the right place at the right time to take full advantage of that. E-commerce is where it's at. It's a massive, massive industry. And 2017 is going to be the year of smart commerce. And I'll get into what smart commerce really is in just a moment. But let's kind of look at some trends and, and kind of dive in into a little more detail about what smart commerce 
really is and all of the impacts it's going to have on this industry. So for example, real-time signal-driven analytics. These are going to allow you to provide deeper insights into every aspect of your store, what's happening, why it's happening, and everything else. You'll be able to track every lead, conversion, bounce, and action, and discover critical conversion bottlenecks, understand the user behavior and audience needs, because again, with the data that real-time analytics can provide, you can see exactly what's going on at any given point in time for uh, not only the individual customer, but what drove them there, why they triggered their actions, what made them purchase, what made them leave, and everything else. Now, one of the things with creating uh, centralized, real-time signal-driven analytical decisions is that small changes can reap massive rewards for the long term. Because again, it's one of those little things where if you make one small difference, maybe to a headline, to a checkout process, to digital assistance, and other areas of your store, they can have a massive uh, jump in conversions in average customer sale or dollars per sale, and many, many other little ripple effects that create giant leaps forward for you and your business. Uh, predictive analytics, uh, when you're using them correctly, can average a 73% profit boost. And big data, if you're uh, like me, I love data. I'm an absolute data, um, you know, I'm, I'm obsessed with data, KPIs and everything else. But when you leverage that in your business, on average, the businesses that use this and uh, make changes to their business, to their flows, and everything else can leverage an extra 60% in margins. That's reducing cost of goods sold as well as maximizing profit. Now, one of the other massive areas for smart commerce is live action customer engagement. Now, there's three types of customer disengaged, indifferent, and actively engaged. Now, that kind of makes common, yes, a little bit of common sense there, but there is a massive difference between the three in terms of impact on your business. A engaged, an actively engaged customer can drive 44% more revenue for your business than an indifferent or a disengaged customer. Uh, the actively engaged customer can drive $373 average spending per trip rather than $296 for an indifferent customer. So again, that's an extra basically one third more revenue for you and your business if your customers are actively engaged with you and who you are as a business. Now, during the sales process, this is an interesting thing, 83% of customers want some form of live support during purchase. Even if they don't use it, it's reassuring to them to have it available. It's like the virtual sales assistant there to say, okay, can I help you with your order? Uh, can, can I help you check out or you know, answering any questions that might be before sale? This is kind of putting the human back into the equation, and we'll talk a little more about that in a moment. Now, the interesting thing is if you have an inexperienced online shopper, then that number rises to 90%. And that is a big impact because, again, there's a lot of people out there that aren't technically savvy, aren't very uh, sure of themselves and what they're doing. And again, you have different checkout procedures, different stores have different aspects, different confusion points or uh, triggers or conversion blocks. So again, if you have live support or customer support available at any time and it's clear and concise that you can help guide your customer through that checkout process, you're going to leverage greater profit streams, you are going to leverage a better relationship with your customer base and again, that has a massive boost on your bottom line. Now, after the sale, this is an interesting thing for uh, customers as well. If there is a problem with a checkout procedure or a purchase or anything else that requires customer support, 51% um, will only try once during a purchase, 
which means it leads to more of the abandoned carts and everything else that plague a lot of e-commerce stores. So again, having the ability to have someone who's there, direct, and can engage with your customer kind of during the purchase process is very beneficial because if there's any block or point, you've lost that customer. They've gone elsewhere where there's less frustration. So again, having someone on hand through that purchase process and after purchase is fantastic. And again, if there's anything after purchase during, you know, with excessive uh, after like a delivery of an item or something like that, 76% will only try once and then give up. That will quite likely end up if they don't get satisfaction quickly in a refund, returns, and everything else. So again, that costs the business money. So anything you can do to mitigate that uh, during the checkout process can have a massive impact on your bottom line. The thing is, how do you boost engagement with live action with your customers? Well, one of the most obvious ways is answering questions live with text chat, voice, and video. Now, I'm working with a company right now in Austin that is developing a uh, live chat technology for e-commerce that allows you to connect directly with a live agent, and you can do it through webcam and everything else. You can see them. They can't see you unless you want to, uh, but they can literally help walk you through any purchase process, answer any questions, and everything else. And it's a very, very powerful way. We've all seen the text chat, the little pop-ups that sit in the bottom of the corner, popping up saying, hey, can I help you? Or, you know, have you got any questions? Well, when you add the human, the voice, or the actual physical connection, and especially facial, then that creates a massive boost of engagement. Our prime example of this is Bank of America. They're introducing a new uh, automated teller machine that can do everything that the human teller can do, uh, all of the services that they can provide. And the interesting thing is that that uh, connects with a human, not someone in the, the bank itself, but with a uh, teller and a trained bank professional that might be in some sort of HQ somewhere. But the cool thing is that they will walk you through and answer any questions, guide you through the process and everything else, but you have someone there. So it's a lot more... Um, human interaction rather than impersonal machine and that is one of the big problems with e-commerce is we've taken the tactile and the human out of the entire process so bringing live customer engagement back into the proceedings allows you to again reconnect the human aspect and the psychological aspect of human interaction into the e-commerce uh, industry now, one of the interesting things uh, that we're doing a lot and a lot of companies, uh, the bigger companies are doing, is interest-based personalized emails and text updates. Now, again, this is behavior patterning based on, again, user intent, what they like, what they don't like, and again, learning and being more adaptive to the consumer helps you increase revenue. Prime example of that, for example, is retargeting or remarketing. Allows you to understand what the customer likes and then show them similar things, uh, contextual-based advertising, and everything else. But we're talking at this stage with direct communication to the customer via email, text updates, and everything else. So again, it's a great way to engage a customer. One thing that uh, we do a lot with a lot of our e-com clients is we get them to quote customers in their blogs and social media, literally crediting them with any question or any suggestion or if they're, um, you know, we do live tagging of uh, people using products and everything else. That is a phenomenal little uh, leap forward. Because, again, it makes them feel special, it makes them feel appreciated, and when other customers see that you're doing this for customers, then it shows you that you're not some big impersonal uh, mega corporation or what have you, that you actually care about your customers. And that in itself can have a great cloud or cluster effect with your audience. Um, one thing that uh, is very powerful is providing consistent value content, and I know most people think e-commerce 
Why would we provide content? We're a sales channel, we're not a blog. Well, again, think of it like this. Uh, one of the stores that we have is a grilling store. We do grilling equipment, barbecue equipment, and everything else. So one of the things that we do is we produce videos in and around the uh, usage of some of the uh, grilling equipment and then, you know, recipes and how to grill this, how to grill that. Well, guess what? What does that do? That gives our massive value back to our customers. But we're also doing prime product placement and everything else in that. But we show customers, again, what they can do with the stuff they buy from us, the massive results they can get. In other words, you know, happy family, um, they can cook like a pro and everything else. We share, you know, really cool content that keeps us top of mind. So what happens is when they need grilling equipment or if they're really into this um, industry, they want something for their barbecue, they want some sort of gadget or gizmo or what have you, where do they go? They come to us because we're always providing top of mind value content. And there are many different ways that you can do that for your e-com business. Um, one of the things that we do, and this is a huge, huge deal, certainly going forward, is digital assistance. And this is interactive e-commerce design. Anything that can streamline the customer experience uh, to make it easier to shop with you. Again, most people really want to take the technical out of it. They don't go on your site to wow about the beauty, the wonders, and all the cool language and stuff that you've done on your site. What they want to do is they want to get their thing, they want to move on quickly and be done, okay? So anything that can streamline the process, and a digital assistant, an example of a digital assistant would be for uh, saving you know, customer information and then automatically filling out their checkout because you've already got their customer information that you streamline past parts that are non-repetitive they don't need to do again or you automatically detect their device and make adjustments to uh, what they're doing based on user intent behavior and um, device that they're using so obviously a, a good digital assistant there would be switching between a mobile view and a desktop view. That's a very basic digital assistant. So anything that you can use to streamline the purchasing process uh, through interactive design is a digital assistant. And digital assistants are massive. We'll talk a little bit about the impact they can have on business in a moment. The other thing is, and this is something that is uh, being used more and more by big commerce, it's something that is now becoming available to smaller commerce, is targeted interest behavior based rewards programs. Now, if you think about that, um, I'll use the example of grilling equipment. If I'm looking at a big gas grill, then I don't need to know all the charcoal accessories. There's an incent, uh, a interesting diversion between interests. Um, so maybe I'll start showing rewards programs and rewards towards X, which could be stuff that's directly targeted to gas grills rather than charcoal grills. Uh, it could be, for example, a, uh, a brush cleaner for uh, you know infrared heated grills and stuff like that that, again, won't impact the surface but won't work so well on a charcoal surface. Okay, fine. So again... Different rewards programs, different behaviors, different interests. You can present opportunities, special savings just for those customers because you can segment their interests based on their behavior and then present them with the right opportunities to buy more based on those decided interests. And as I said at the beginning of this section, putting the human back in to the e-commerce process. Something that's sorely missing, but it is the next big thing for e-commerce. Now, we talked a little bit earlier on about mobile engagement and mobile commerce. Well, mobile engagement will absolutely skyrocket, as we've already said. 50% of US e-commerce traffic will be mobile by 2017 and globally that is going to rise to 72 percent like i said we're kind of lagging behind the rest of the world a little bit so 2017 uh is really going to be key here 
for e-commerce in the US, but globally it's already at 51%, growing to 72% by the end of next year. Now we talked about digital assistants. Digital assistants are really powerful when it comes to mobile commerce. And just this year alone, $2 billion were generated in extra revenue due to digital assistants. And think about this for a moment. Think about engagement. How many times do you reach for your phone every single day? About 50 to 100 times is for the average person. I know myself, I'm probably at the top end of that scale. So again, mobile interaction and engagement is key and is a huge, huge opportunity. The only problem is, though, that 14% of companies right now, especially e-commerce companies, are cashing in on mobile commerce, which means there's a huge disconnect between what the industry is doing and what customers demand. So that is a massive thing. Also, in terms of um, mobile commerce, there is a huge leap forward in digital wallet adoption. Now, again, we saw a big battle uh, this year and last year with Apple Pay, Android Pay, Samsung Pay, and all these other pay services for mobile coming online for buying and walking into physical e -com or physical commerce stores, brick and mortar stores, and paying with your phone and everything else. And that's absolutely fantastic. But e-commerce is now catching on that so many people are purchasing online that they're starting to adapt and adopt the ability to pay with your stored credit cards on your phone for any online uh, store purchase so that is going to be a huge huge deal in the next two to three years moving forwards so what other trends are happening in 2017 and beyond well virtual sales forces will become standard and i'm talking about dedicated live support in any form it could be from a uh, voice video or text-based, but that is going to become the norm. Again, more and more people are realizing the huge opportunities of putting the human back into e-commerce. There'll be more Prime-like shopping experiences with easy returns, minimized hassles for refunding and uh, handling and you know returning merchandise that you know, doesn't fit or doesn't suit and everything else. Um, same day. Deliveries are going to be huge. Uh, social selling, which is going to grow dramatically in 2017. I mentioned uh, same-day deliveries and Prime Now type services. There's going to be a huge jump forward in focused funnel e-commerce, uh, which will absolutely explode in 2017. I'll talk about that in a moment. And virtual reality is going to become a huge thing. Now, again, one of the things that, um, I, again, a company I'm working with right now, are creating virtual mall experiences uh, using Oculus and the other devices out there right now. But if you think VR is going to become a huge deal over the next five to ten years, okay, and it gives e-commerce a massive opportunity to create these almost physical experiences, the ability to look at a product hold it in your virtual hands to walk into a for example a virtual clothing store and again have try try on the merchandise see how it looks on you this is something that we're working with right now uh, virtual mall tours so you can actually have a virtual mall um, almost like a minority report if you've seen that movie where you can swipe through things right in front of your face just pick things out boom 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 check out done I mean, this is some of the stuff that's happening in VR right now with e-commerce. It's in development. Don't think anywhere is using it fully yet, or if they are, it's very experimental. But I, I, again, I know a couple of companies, one that I'm working with very closely, that is developing incredible technology for e-commerce with virtual reality. And the, the uh, partner to virtual reality is artificial intelligence. Uh, for trend, big data analysis, predictive uh, behavioral analysis. Uh, basically, there are some technology companies out there right now that actually are working on AIs and uh, machine learning algorithms that can detect 
trends and are working towards knowing what you want to buy before you know what you want to buy. Uh, now, that can be scary to some people, but again, that's the way AI is going. It's going to be very, very predictive, very analytical, and can show trends before trends are even detected. And that is going to be a massive, massive deal uh, over the next few years. The bottom line is e-commerce is evolving fast and it's becoming a much more personal experience and much more adaptive as well. Now, there are two types of e-commerce, the traditional multi-product e-commerce like your Amazon stores and everything else with the traditional checkout and uh, catalog style uh, purchase process so you can you know go through categories find the products you want do a search bomb okay add to cart check out and everything else there is also another type called focused funnel e-commerce and that's what we're going to talk about here we're going to take a little bit of a deeper look at focused funnel e-commerce now focused funnel is if you are in the digital marketing world uh, you'll be familiar with some of the aspects of a focused funnel for physical products and e-commerce. Basically, you start off with a, you know, offer a niche focused, no brainer free gift, and then just charge a small amount for shipping and handling. So let's take a look at examples. So here's a barbecue store with a free grilling mat that uh, it's a very cool little gadget uh, that people love. It stops all your food falling through the grates and everything else allows you to cook very evenly without any mess. Now, these retail in stores for up to 20 bucks. And the cool thing is that we can give these away absolutely free. And we have basic, you know, just front and center product image. Hey, this is what you can get right now. And it's important that you show the actual product in use. So you can see below the actual product itself, we show with the salmon and everything else and the kebabs and the vegetables all being grilled. And we have a big call to action that says, yes, rush me my free grilling mat before they're all gone. And again, uh, we stack with buttons. We stack with a text link here. You can see we also have the call to action here with a scarcity showing that, hey, there's already been a lot uh, claimed there's only a few left we have a evergreen timer and you know a cool you know get logical statement why pay 20 bucks in stores when you can get yours free right now now the cool thing is this keeps it simple it's very very focused on getting your free gift and again below that as you scroll down uh, you can see more in use shots different things happen you can see again you know just your food cooking and everything else Again, making, again, no mess. We extol the benefits of this. Uh, we talk about some of the features of the product, the express shipping, and again, you know, reiterating the call to action. Hey, go get yours right now. And then moving on from there, we also have these uh, kind of make you feel good security badges saying it's free, it's secure, quality guarantee, limited time, special offer. And then we'll have some uh, testimonials from real customers who have this and love it and everything else. So we can uh, put them on the page again, makes a customer feel good about getting their free gift. This is a very low commitment offer because again, it's free. So what have they got to lose? And that really makes people want to jump in and minimizes the headaches and hassles that you would if you were trying to sell these physically right now. Again, minimum barrier to entry. And again, you know, have simple things like making them feel good, reassurance, unhappy with your product. Hey, no problem. We stand by our products. It's 100% guaranteed, secure ordering and everything else. Now, again, in this case, we've put a uh, phone number on here. So if you, you know, uh, if you wanted to offer that, uh, it's a great way to, again, reintroduce the human. Hey, if you want to order or got a question or want to speak to a live person, you can call. In this case, this is a fictitious phone number, one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. But you get the idea. Now, the cool thing with this is as soon as they click on any of the call to action buttons, it pops up with a little uh, call to action. It says, hey, enter your name and email and then next, and this is very important, this gave us a 22% lift in, in uh, tests when we did this, is next, enter your shipping information. 
as opposed to, okay, get started now or any other thing, is because this created a progressional process in the mind of the customer. And we let them know that they're halfway there with the you know, progress bar and everything else. So once they do that, we then present the customer with a simple, optimized, and customized checkout process, just like this. Now, you, again, you can see this is blown up a little bit, but you can see, again, we're using a large in-usage shot of the product. But you'll notice there's a couple of things on here. It's a little bit of personalization, because in the last step, we got the customer's first name. In this case, me. So you can see here, hey, Sean, get your amazing barbecue. So again, reiterating the call to value, the main benefit, the value, and everything else. And then we ask a question, where should we ship your free product? Now, here we're also talking about get your um, free grilling mat, just pay $2.95 shipping and handling. So again, very low cost for shipping and handling. And we then you know get the optimized checkout, where would you like us to send it and everything else. We talk about the shipping process, non-stick uh, grilling mat details. We reiterate the uh, how many have been claimed, only a few left. Again, reintroducing the scarcity. We also show other people have purchased and what they're saying. Again, we brought some of those testimonials from the other page up to this. So this is a very customized checkout page just for this particular customer. And again, you know, in this case, uh, two ninety five, ready to rock, boom, done. That's it. Now, here's the thing: the cost from the drop shipper is only a dollar ninety five, which means we got an extra dollar in our pockets. Because by the time they use, uh, again, this is shipped from China, so this is an e-packet, we have a confirmed paid lead that buys on impulse. And an impulse buyer is the best customer in the world. So we have, again, a paid customer on file with a real full name and real email. We have their full address and phone number. We have created an account for them automatically on the store, which allows us to integrate that lead everywhere in our systems. We've dropped retargeting pixels and any other behavior tracking, and we've tagged them based on their interests. Plus, we have a dollar in profit for a free product. This helps mitigate any paid traffic or anything else uh, to drive that customer here. But again, we're looking at lifetime customer value and boosting that, and we do that by offering a stacked upsell with a one-click upsell button. So what do we mean by a stacked upsell? Well, again, you don't probably just want one mat. You'd probably do very well in this case with several mats. That way you can have some in the wash because they, you know, they, these particular products um, you just wash them with soapy water and they're good. But if you've got a bigger grill and you want to use multiples, then great, here you go will say, hey, wait, your order's not complete. Get three or more for the price, you know, three more for the price of one. This is a limited time offer. Save 67%. Again, giant discount uh, off of the retail price. So give me 67% off, um, you know, of the special price of $19. So we'll sell you three right now extras for just 20 bucks. And you no, know, thank you, I'll pass if, if they want to say no. But the idea here is we'll do the same thing. We show, again, that only so many have been purchased, um, you know, and that there's only a few left. We show, again, in usage, we give more information, a little more copywriting here, uh, giving them connection with the product. Again, in-use photos of it being used. And again, at the end, free shipping was is a great tip over the edge. We found that when we offer free shipping, we bundle it into our price and our costs. Um, then more people are, mu you know, are much more likely to purchase. Uh, if the retail price is 59 bucks for three of them, our special price, $19, that's a no-brainer. Again, we also limit with the Evergreen Timer it to under 30 minutes. We found that is ideal because it makes the decision very pressing uh, and they can move on. Now, if they click this button, then boom, it's a one-click upsell, like I said, and that just kicks it over, makes everything incredibly streamlined, one-click checkout. We've already got all their purchase information. We've got their payment method on file. We just, boom, recharge and move on. 
Now, the cool thing is, in this situation, the cost for this from the drop shipper is only $5.85. That is a $14.14 uh, .14 profit. That's 241% profit margin. And I know that everyone out there watching this video right now is saying, ah, 241% profit, I'll take it. So now, if they say no, then we offer what's called a correlated high perceived value product. So, okay, maybe they don't want any more mats and everything else, but we'll offer them something else related to grilling. And in this case, we'll say, hey, wait, your order's not complete. Get this limited one-time offer today only. Add this DIY custom burger press to your order. So again, they've got a mat. Let's help them cook something that goes on the mat. And that's what this is. So it's a little cheaper, $14, but we say, hey, get half off right now, limited time, and boom. Now, again, one thing that we like to do uh, when we're doing these, outside of showing how many have already been purchased, is again, these in usage action shots. Now, again, there's not really much you can show in usage with a burger press other than burgers. So what we did here is we showed burgers on the grill and a happy little girl who's eating the burgers. That's what you know, customers buy results. They don't buy products. They want a outcome for what they do. So again, connect them with an outcome. So again, a little more, uh, you know, just a little text about it, telling them, hey, this is awesome and everything else, why they should get it, uh, you know, why people love it and everything else. And again, same deal. Um, we show them uh, testimonials, we close with free shipping and show that, hey, this is usually 30 bucks in the stores, you can get it right now, $14, bomb. And again, scarcity of only 15 minutes in this case. Cost from the drop shipper, $7, our profit, $7.99 or 114% profit. Now again, upsell number two, correlated higher perceived value product. And in this case, I'm not going to go through the entire sales pro sales pages because they're all identical same same setup for the upsells and the downsells as it is continuing so in this case we offer them a wireless digital thermometer and that's 50 percent off so it's a really cool little gadget anyone who loves tech will go for that and, and you know again give me this 50 percent off right now it usually sells in stores for 70 bucks or what have you so again you know we'll say hey say 50 percent boom done and uh, we'll do that. Now, the cost from the drop shiver, $16. Profit, 119%. So that's $18 in our pockets for every one of those that sells. And if they say no to that, then again, higher perceived or high perceived value product as a downsell. In this case, a steam cleaner, uh, which we mentioned earlier on, funnily enough, in passing. But add this product and, you know, stay 58% off. So it's a steam cleaner for your grill grates and everything else. And again, cost from drop shipper, $11.00. Our profit, $18.99, it's 173%. So again, massive profits all the way down the line. And then as they go through this, and if you got to the end, you can present a simple thank you page uh, with one last variant offer. So basically, hey, your order's complete. Ha, you know, uh, your, it's confirmed, it's in our processing center. Your details are below. But you can offer one more, and this is a kind of a, a variant on the stacked system, is get your discounted inflatable outdoor lounger while stocks last. Final chance, grab it today. So in this case, um, we show, again, several people just sitting in this. It's a simple variant. It's actually a disconnect from the overall grill but it's something else that yeah, other people might have fun. It's an impulse purchase that people might have fun in the backyard with while you're grilling. So again, just something that makes people laugh, smile, uh, feel good or enjoy. And that's kind of our criteria is something cool, something useful, something that is, again, an impulse buy. And we'll do that again. Same deal. Usage or in usage shots. What others are saying, boom, done deal. And again, mere pennies on the dollar. So focused funnel overview, free shipping and handling front offer, optimized checkout, stacked upsell, a uh, downsell, if a correlated downsell, 
a this is cool upsell, as we call it. In other words, some sort of uh, you know gadget or something else that appeals to the customer or the mindset or something that is, oh man, I've got to have that. That's one of those kind of uh, quick hooks. Then again, downsell. You can see we're using four different uh, thank you pages, and that's for URL tracking when we're using paid media or anything else. And again, dropping cookies and email campaigns at every step of the way. Now, one of the other things that we like to do is we'll also test many front end offers that go into the same funnel. So if we have someone that's interested in uh, grilling or you know specific grilling, maybe we got a tool set, maybe we got a condiment set or something like that, or one thing we've been uh, playing with is a set of bear claws for uh, separating meat for you know like pulled pork and stuff like that again many many different ways you can get into the same funnel and you can create these uh, optimized checkouts for each product and just keep it simple but get them in and say hey choose your free gift and then they can self-select their way forwards but the cool thing is whichever way you do it you can then use this to expose the customer to your full commerce store so if you've got lots and lots of you know traditional commerce products then you can use these focused funnels to get people in use it for lead generation profit generation and then pump them into your full store with all of your other great products so combining both focused funnel commerce with traditional multi-product commerce is insanely powerful and profitable so let's compare the two types Traditional multi-product commerce is a store presented in a categorized catalog style with standardized cart and checkout process, while a focused single product uh, e-commerce funnel has rapid checkout, one-click upsells with targeted follow-up campaigns focused around one core offer. The problem is that existing solutions can be very difficult to set up and can cost hundreds of dollars every single month. In fact, one of the more popular e-commerce solutions out there right now can cost $297 a month. And that is just for a very, very basic store. If you want any decent functionality, you have to keep buying apps and apps and apps. And that can end up costing you $500 to $1,000 every single month before you've sold a single product. Other solutions out there for uh, funnel building and everything else uh, if you wanted to try and do focused funnel e-commerce can cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month before you've even made a sale as well. They also, both of these systems lack critical features for smart commerce. Some of the things that we talked about earlier on, they just don't get smart commerce yet. I mean, you know, who knows what the future will tell, but right now, absolutely they do not. And they severely limit your options and restrict smart commerce all the way down the line. The other thing is they limit you to just one path. So for example, if you wanted to create an e-commerce store, well, all you can do is create an e-commerce store. If you want to create a funnel, then you have to have a completely different system and the two shall never talk to each other. That is until now. That's why I'm proud to tell you a little bit about a project we've been working on for the last 18 months called Solosity. This is a brand new e-commerce platform that we've developed that truly is e-commerce evolved. Now, e-commerce has never looked so good. We're launching this on November 17th at 11 a.m. EST. It literally enables you to take all the principles of smart commerce, deploy a brand new site in under 10 minutes all you have to do is add products it has never been easier to create a true e-commerce business and unlock the potential of both multi-product commerce and focused funnel commerce now here's just a few features of solicity you can deploy your store in just a matter of minutes all you do is plug in some information about where you want it to go and boom, you're done. It has a drag and drop builder for your pages so you can create those amazing funnels that you just seen. 
You can easily import products from anywhere. In fact, you can migrate your Shopify site. If you've got an eBay store, you can migrate that. If you've got an Amazon store, you can migrate that. If you want to import products from AliExpress or any other vendor, hey, no problem. You can do all of that. And it's easy to import and create new products in just a few clicks. You can create focused funnel commerce like we've just shown. In fact, that entire focused funnel I just showed you was built in Solosity. You can do one-click upsells and smart checkout. For example, if someone's paying, say, with PayPal and they're going through your cart, hey, no problem. Guess what? As they're going through, it remembers their information, their username, their first name, their address, their shipping information, their phone number, and pre-fills everything else as they go through the store because it knows who they are. These are the digital assistants we talked about earlier on. If they are paying with something like uh, Stripe or what have you, and you're with a credit card, no problem. One-click instant upsell. So that allows you to maximize your average customer sale and your dollars per sale as well. We have a powerful dropship system that is uh, literally designed to automate as much of your business as possible. If you have a compatible dropshipper that will accept an email with the order and then dropship on your behalf, boom, connect them, you are ready to rock. We are also smart marketing enabled Again, maximizing every single aspect of your business. We connect with all of the top e-commerce tracking systems and that allows you to monitor everything that's happening, uh, integrate everywhere and have a lot of information at your disposal about every customer in your store. We have advanced reporting and tracking. Some very, very powerful features that allow you to see what's happening with your store at a glance. We also integrate with some of the top print-on-demand Vendors, so if you're wanting to sell t shirts and mugs and everything else, hats, uh, you know, hoodies, whatever, boom, done deal, rock on, you're ready to go. We also have, uh, because we don't like leaving any stone unturned, we have amazing e commerce training showing you how to create your business from scratch. Lots of different uh, systems out there that are e-commerce platforms basically just give you the keys and leave you on your merry way. We don't like that. That's not a way to run a business. We will show you how to create a real business from the ground up. We also have a proven e-commerce engine and I mean this to the nth level. The engine that we are built upon already powers over 1 million online stores. That's 37% of all e-commerce stores online are powered by the platform that we use. And it's very, very powerful. Three times more than there are Shopify installs, let alone active stores. Another thing Celestity is very focused on is social commerce. We want you to be able to market to and target your exact audience where their attention actually is, and that is social media. There are 1.5 billion users on Facebook, 320 million users on Twitter, and 100 million users on Pinterest right now. So yes, we are social media marketing optimized, leveraging the power of social media to create a buying frenzy, you can build your own Facebook store integrated fully with Facebook and their store system. You can use the built-in traffic and conversions tracking. We, in fact, work with Google, Facebook, Twitter, Woopra, GoSquared, and very soon we'll be integrated with Kissmetrics and Crazy Egg as well. Of course, we're 100% mobile friendly across the board. As we said, the importance of... Uh, e-commerce and mobile commerce cannot be underscored enough and that is something we absolutely do focus on. We also want to make sure that you have a dashboard and all the information you need to make accurate and smart decisions about your business in just a few clicks. So we have a very powerful dashboard that allows you to see at a glance what is happening in your self-hosted store and get ready to rock. We also have front-end editing, so you can click on any product, 
edit it on the fly, make adjustments, and have full control over your store. And because of what we've talked about earlier, we also have Smart Mail, intelligent follow-ups. So you can create trigger-based intelligent follow-up campaigns, contacts, and behavior-based marketing campaigns in just a snap, targeting customers based on behavior, actions, and follow-up based on products purchased. Now, we also have a very cool element of Solosity, which is Solosity Labs. This is a private training and membership area where we can help you create your business from the ground up. This gives you access to action plans, some very, very powerful training, advanced training and intermediate training, basically walking you through every aspect of creating a really powerful, productive profitable and successful e-commerce business. These action plans map out every single thing that we talk about in step-by-step -step format. And we also have Solosity Insider, which is our weekly call with our team of experts. We'll talk about different techniques, answer questions uh, from the audience and everything else. We also have our toolbox, which is a useful uh, suite of tools and research and everything else that you need to literally empower your business. And we also have Solosity deals where we cut deals with different vendors and service providers and everything else. Stuff that uh, e-commerce vendors uh, and business owners like yourself actually need. We'll try and work out the best deals for you and bring them to you. So again, being a member of Solosity Labs is very, very powerful. And we do have a dedicated Facebook group for Solosity Map members. So we are also introducing uh, very soon a concierge service where you will be able to have other people do all their heavy lifting for you. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, want someone else to do it for you, no problem. This team is here. We are building a massive team. We partner with a great company that is growing dedicated resources just for us to allow you uh, to have them do all the hard work for you. And uh, we all have different packages available uh, based on your budget, your needs, and everything else, and even create custom packages as well. So we have a mission and a vision. We want to help 50,000 entrepreneurs create their online e-commerce empire in the next 12 months. Now, to do that, we're going to open the doors on November 17th to the 24th for a charter access. And that is going to be with a one-week affiliate launch. This allows us to get a few people in the door at a massive, massive discount. You've seen all the power of this system. What it can do is a lot in here. But we are going to open the doors to a very limited number of people on November 17th. After that, phase two and Q1 of next year, we're going to be doing private webinars, raising the price dramatically to expand the user base, but we are raising the price a lot. Phase three is going to be angel round funding. We'll open the access to the public in the second quarter of 2017. And then phase four, we're going to go for series A funding, uh, a massive marketing push, price rise again, and that'll be in the fourth quarter of next year. Now, with that being said, you can see that e-commerce is evolving fast. And we don't want you to miss out on this $2.1 trillion industry, which, as I said, is going to grow to $4.1 trillion by 2020. And just as a reminder, Solosti is launching on November 17th at 11 a.m. EST. It's really e-commerce evolved I'd love to see you there as part of that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've covered a lot of ground here in regards to smart commerce, what's happening, trends, things that you need to consider about e-commerce, the differences between focused funnel commerce versus multi-product commerce, and how you can fuse those two together. Solosti is the only platform out there that can do both and do it without costing hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month. We look forward to seeing you as part of this. If you want more information, go to Solocity.com and learn more right now.